1586 supports a maximum of 40 input channels and can scan up to 10 channels per second. Each slot can hold an internal high capacity module or connect to an external DAC stack multiplexer. There are also alarm and digital I.O. ports. Ethernet and USB ports used for remote operation using Skippy commands. And there is a temperature sensor control port to control a fluke calibration dry well or temperature bath for automated tests. For factory applications, the 1586 will typically be configured with the internal high capacity module shown here. The temperature sensor most frequently used for factory applications is the thermocouple. Types K, T, and J are the most common. The 1586 measures thermocouples accurate to within 0 0.03 degrees C, which is accurate enough for most factory applications. Industrial PRTs can also be monitored or calibrated with this configuration. The high capacity module is a quick input connection to the 1586 that allows you to measure 20 channels of different parameters. These include temperature, resistance, and DC voltage. In addition, there are two dedicated DC current channels in the module. Wiring a system with 20 channels can be time consuming. The internal module gives you the flexibility to pre-wire your connector and leave it at the job site where you can come back later without having to go through additional wiring. With the high capacity module, you can wire your system once, quickly disconnect the module from your 1586 and reconnect another one for a different test. This is the DAC stack multiplexer. It's an external bench top accessory used to quickly wire inputs of various types. The 1586 configured with an external DAC stack multiplexer becomes an accurate bench top reference thermometer for calibrating PRTs, thermocouples, and thermistors in a calibration lab. PRT measurement is accurate within 5 milligrees C. The DAC stack includes 10 4 wire mini DWF PRT or thermistor inputs and 20 mini jack thermocouple connectors. A maximum of 20 channels can be used to measure temperature, resistance, and DC voltage. The 1586A Super DAC provides a unique feature for automating sensor calibration that greatly increases lab productivity. When connected to a fluke dry well or fluid bath, the Super DAC can control the temperature source to run the calibration automatically all within the parameters you specify. After you configure and start the test, you can walk away to work on other things. Connect the RS-232 cable. Connect a null modem RS-232 cable to the temperature source control port on the rear panel of the SuperDAC and to the RS-232 port on the front of the 9142. Ensure that the baud rate of the 9142 matches the 1586A. Check the 1586A baud rate. We have connected a 5628 probe to the front panel. We have connected three Type T thermocouples to channels 1 through 3 of a high capacity module. The high capacity module is inserted into the slot on the back of the Super DAC. The thermocouple ends are then inserted into the 9142. The automated test state will display a scan status of settling while the temperature source stabilizes. After the source has stabilized, the automated test state will display a scan status of scanning while the data is being collected. Data can be written to internal memory or a USB flash drive during a test. You can select data graph, or monitor view modes during data collection. To view data, press the data key. To see a data graph, press back and graph keys. You can graph up to four channels simultaneously. Then press monitor. The channel 1 temperature is being displayed. Insert a flash drive into the SuperDAC front panel USB port. Choose the desired file. Rename the file if desired and press Save. 
Then you can remove the USB flash drive and take it to a PC for analysis.